So in this Math in Minute video, we are going to look at some parent functions. So I would define parent function as the simplest form of a function. There are no left, right, up or down shifts, as well as no stretches or shrinkage applied to a parent function. It is the basic function. So here is an example of the parent function for a linear function. A linear function also can be called an identity function because the X and Y are equivalent. So we're going to look for the domain. And when looking for the domain, we look along the X axis going from the left side to the right side. And we can see that it can be all real numbers. And we can denote it by saying negative infinity to positive infinity. Likewise, with the range, we can go from the bottom to the top along the y-axis. And again, that would be negative infinity to positive infinity. Intercepts would be where it hits the y and the x-axis. So that would be 0, 0. And to tell whether it's increasing, we would start at the bottom to the top. And we can see here on the left side, it goes from the bottom to the top. So it is increasing from negative infinity to positive infinity. And is it decreasing? If we look at the top, again, we go from the left to the right. We do not see that it is decreasing. So that would be no. So that would be the parent function of linear or identity functions. So looking at the parent function for quadratic functions, looking at the domain, we go along the x-axis again, and it can be any real number. So our value for here would be negative infinity to positive infinity. For the range, we would start at the bottom of the y-axis and go to the top. And as we can see, there are no values in the negative of the y-axis. So the range here for the parent function of the quadratic equation would be from zero to positive infinity. And that's because when we square a number, we get a positive number. There are intercepts at zero, zero. And now let's look at where the graph is increasing. And that means we start at the bottom and going up. So here, we're going to start here at this point, 0, and it goes up from this point. So here, it's increasing from 0 to positive infinity. So where is it going down? Again, if we start on our left side and go down, we are starting at negative infinity, and we end at 0. So that is where it is decreasing. The graph is decreasing. So that is for the parent function of the quadratic function. So here is our parent function for a cubic function. So again, our domain would be all real numbers. So that would be negative infinity to positive infinity. Same with our y-axis. It can go from the bottom, negative infinity, to positive infinity. The intercept where it hits the x or the y-axis is at zero, zero. And we can see where it's increasing. We start here at the bottom, and it looks like it's increasing. So again, that would be from negative infinity through positive infinity. And then we look at the left side top. Is it decreasing? It doesn't appear that the cubic function, parent function, is de decreasing. So we have no decreasing. So that is the parent function of a cubic function. The parent function of the square root function. In this graph, you can see that the domain along the x-axis starts at zero, and it goes on to infinity, positive infinity. The range along the y-axis, again, that starts at zero and goes to positive infinity. The intercept is zero, zero. Increasing, it starts here and it increases. So we're going to start at zero and go to positive infinity. Is it decreasing? Starting up in the left corner going down? No. So there is no decreasing in this parent function of the square root function. 
So this last parent function is called the reciprocal function or sometimes called the rational function. And in this function, you have the variable in the denominator and we know zero cannot be the value of the denominator. It would be an undefined function. So our domain as we go along the x-axis would be everything except for zero. So we would have all real numbers, we can denote it by this, except x is not equal to zero. Likewise, the range, as we go from the bottom of our y-axis to the top, it can be all real numbers, except for y equal to zero. It cannot be zero. There is no intercept because it's never hitting the y or the x axis. So this would be no intercepts. Um, is it increasing? If we look from the bottom going to the top, there are no increasing, but it is decreasing. We have, we have infinity over here, negative infinity, and we are going towards zero, but we're not hitting zero, so it's not included. And then on this side of the equation, where it's decreasing, we have zero, which it's not including zero, and it goes to positive infinity. So that would be our reciprocal or rational function, parent function. Any math topics you would like me to cover, please leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and we'll see you next time.